Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video, and this video is obviously, if you've seen the title, it is about my starting issues with my car. So basically, I am hanging out at a shopping mall right now. Uh, just finished shopping, got back to my car, tried to start it, tried to start it 15 more times, and nothing. Um, nothing it's not cranking over and that's like the biggest problem I have right now is that my car is not cranking over so I have everything working right now the my AC was working but you know the fan is blowing was blowing uh, it's still blowing if I turn it on um, my radio works loud and clear uh, the, everything on, on my lights work you know, it just says if I turn it on, everything on the dash works, except it's not cranking over. So right now, I'm trying to troubleshoot this issue, trying to figure out what it is, whether it's um, whether it's my alternator, my starter, some electrical problem, my battery. So here's the thing: I don't think it is the alternator. Reason being is that my car did not die out as I had it running because the car was never turned on and well it was never turned on and it just died out that wasn't the case all right the car it was off and then I tried to turn it on and it wasn't turning on well it's not cranking over so um, besides uh, I've been working on this for like 45 minutes had somebody jump the car and. Uh, had somebody jumped the car and it didn't start up, it was the alternate. If it was the alternator, this car would have jumped up, jumped, cranked over. Um, so, and then it would have died off once you took the took the cables off. That's normally how you test for alternator issues. So it's not the alternator that's the problem, at all. It's not the alternator. So I know that for a fact at this point. Anyway, I had the alternator changed out like six months ago. It's a virtually a brand new alternator. Um, I'm not saying that you know, brand new alternators couldn't have problems. Um, but uh, this one, in this case, that's not it. So I was thinking maybe it was the battery. Um, I was shopping maybe like for an hour and a half. Thought maybe it was the battery. Um, it's not the battery either because uh, you know all the uh, electronics work and uh, the lights upright. Even though it's sunny out, I'm look I looked at the light. The lights upright, but. If it was the battery, having cables put on it, it would have just cranked over. It would have cranked over. Didn't crank over. So I know it's not the battery. And changed the battery like on a year and a half, two years ago. Um, so batteries last like four or five years. Normally they could last longer. I have batteries that last like six years or whatever. But it's not the battery. So, But um, I did have this issue. Similar issues like this last month. Uh, a couple of times last month, to be honest, um, I had the same issue. I mean, try to turn it on and uh, it wouldn't crank over. Um, everything seems to work, and uh, did it a couple of times, and it did crank over eventually. But this did not does not uh, work like that. I mean, it's not working now because I tried it like at least twenty times over and over again. But I do hear a click. Um, this is not my first issue with. You know, non-start cars, no start issues. Um, I do hear a click every time I turn it. I do hear a click every time I turn it. Like 20 times I've heard a click, you know, just click and then nothing. And uh, at this point, um, the other two issues could be is uh, the starter or one of the fuses or relays. And I don't think it's the fuse or the relay. So I don't think it's the relay being being that, you know, it's getting power through from the battery to the starter. It's getting power to the starter because I'm hearing that click. It's clicking. That's not the problem, okay? Could be the battery that's the problem. I don't know if it's the battery that's... No, no, no. Could it be the fuse that's the problem? So basically, I do not think it's the fuse that's the problem i've had fuse issues before where it caused the car not to start <clears throat> normally what happens is there's a main fuse once that pops <clears throat> you get nothing on the dash nothing on the dash nothing on the radio nothing anywhere it's just zero 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 nothing 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 
like there's no electricity as if it's as if the cables to the battery was was taken off <clears throat> um so it's not it's either that if, it, if there's a fuse issue it's either that or you can crank it and it cranks over but it just dies out immediately i mean but that could be caused by a couple of things but I will say that one of the causes of that would be a fuse. Now, the reason why I'm going through all this troubleshooting is normally if I the, the starter on this car was the original starter, I would be, <clears throat> you know, I would be like, you know, yeah, okay, it's probably the starter. But I got this starter changed out like five months ago, guys. Five months ago, I had the starter changed out. I had the starter changed out five months ago on this car. And, um, you know, I spent some time putting it in, taking it out, putting it in. Got the starter rebuilt from AutoZone. And uh, I'm actually surprised that that is the reason why my car is not starting. If it is the reason, if it is exactly the reason. So, but, uh, you know, that's why I'm like troubleshooting all this stuff because I'm surprised that it, it, it did this. You know, I mean, the other times, uh, the other times that it didn't start, you know, it was like in the morning um, when the car was like sitting the whole entire night. And I just assumed that maybe the battery was low or whatever. Maybe, maybe it was that issue. So, and it, it started right up afterwards, you know, but um, not in this case. So basically, I bought a rebuilt starter, and the problem with rebuilt starter, if you guys don't know, is that, you know, when they rebuild the starter, they don't actually rebuild everything on a the starter. They just rebuild, like, the part that's broken. Like, if, it, if there's, like, a little part that's broken, that's the part they replaced, and then they clean up everything else. And then the whole starter, the whole entire starter you bought has whatever the mileage of the car that it got taken out of. If the car had like 150,000 miles it got taken out of, that's how many miles is on that starter, except for that part that they replaced. It's an unfortunate thing, but it's a fact. Now, I could have bought a brand new starter, but brand new starter is like 300 instead of 140. So it's like twice the price. And uh, I've had situations where brand new non-OEM starters have gone out on me. Now, OEM starters are original starters, um, I've had pretty good luck with um, OEM, used OEM parts from eBay, Junkyard, or whatever. I've had luck with that. Um, haven't had <clears throat> much luck with, um, you know, rebuilt stuff from AutoZone, Advanced Auto, or any of these parts places. Um, and uh, one example of that is my alternator. Um, previous to changing that out... Um, I had another alternator that was rebuilt, but this one was rebuilt also. I mean, uh, it, the best situation for me is if I actually got an OEM part from eBay, a used OEM part from eBay or whatever. I mean, that would be the best situation, but unfortunately, um, that's, you know, I don't have time to order it. And I, and I only have one car, so this is the car I used, use. So I need to get it going as soon as, as, as possible, you know. So basically, um, I've got one more thing to do. I mean, I could um, put a line to the starter to test it out. Put a, put a line to the starter from the battery to the to the terminal of the starter itself, the solenoid and the starter and the motor itself. Um, probably not going to do that because it's just a pain of butt to get to and I don't really have a line on me right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a crowbar and I'm going to start bumping it. I'm just going to just start hitting it a little bit, start hitting it a little bit, see if that actually turns this on, um, and uh, I'll keep, keep you guys updated on that. Alright guys, so it's the next day, and um, I was not able to get my car started. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my car started. So I had to call AAA, had the car towed didn't cost me anything except for that triple a membership that i had but um but it turned out to be the starter um it's a waste of time considering i bought the starter rebuilt like you know six months ago or, or whatever and um you know i had to spend some time swapping it out went to AutoZone, got another rebuilt swapped it out complained to them 
So there's nothing they could do with it. It's already warranty. It's still warranty for like one year or whatever. I think it's warranty for one year. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But I. I got. I got my. I got. I got a new starter. I took the starter out. Went to AutoZone. Got got another starter, and I was given one to replace that. Unfortunately, they're not. They didn't give me money for the time that I spent with my car not running and me spending time to take the starter out, put the starter in, etc., etc. It's a pain um, in the butt, but it is what it is with these situations, and there's really nothing that I could do about it. So, um, best case scenario, like I said, is if I if I had a choice between getting another repo star from AutoZone or going to eBay and just buying a used one. OEM original part for for this car. I would have done it, but um, I don't have the time for it. So, but that's my video. If you guys like this video? Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and please, uh, if you guys have any comments at all, you know, please feel free to comment. All right, guys. Um, that's all I got. I gotta get back to work, and I'm done. All right, guys. Take care.